my good friend Micke and I have arrived to a place called Volodalen, a beautiful valley placed just a few hours away from the Norwegian border. I'm here to run a race that stretches over three mountaintops and it's easily the most challenging race I've taken on in many years. I thought I was here to compete, to push myself to the limit, but as soon as I crossed the finish line, something happened. The reason for me being here changed. Before I even talk about the race and what happened, I need to show you where we are because this place is just... The nature here is insanely beautiful, but also very challenging. I've just arrived to, to Utsjö, uh, where the finishing line of the competition is today. And I'm gonna take a transfer bus from here to the, the starting line, so it's like a half an hour away. Um, it's very early in the morning, or very, it's seven. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, nervous and excited, I guess. Um, it's a stunning view out here, like I don't think you can see it, but that's what we're gonna run up and down.
it's funny to think about that I thought I was here to like really push myself mentally and physically and I guess I was because I was <laughs> also completely drained when I passed the finish line but it this race made me rediscover what I truly love about life and it's the most simplest thing as enjoying nature in its purest form the person I am when I'm here almost especially when I'm hiking and running I think I am the closest to what me is the core of who I am and what I want to be as well because the reality is that I mostly sit in front of a computer editing the videos uh, I am of course a lot in nature as well uh, because we live in a forest but this reminded me so much that I also need to push myself to like just take a weekend or a few days in the middle of the week to just go somewhere and experience something it doesn't need to be a race it doesn't need to be, be, need to be a specific hike it's just like when I was out there running and when I passed the finish line it just came to me like being that exhausted enjoying nature and then going to bed having just lungs filled with fresh mountain air it's a very very special feeling it's funny when you give your body what it wants and what it needs and that can be both physically just walking and hiking but also mentally just some peace and quiet to think because being out in what we call the fjells uh, the mountain tops here is such a very vast and open landscape so it gives room to a lot of thought and get to share that with a friend like Mikke I only have two friends like him it's him Mikke and then uh, Otto another friend and those two are like me there's like endless amount of energy uh, which I'm very grateful for uh, I don't think the three of us would be a good combination living together because then we, then we would never sit still but meet them a few times a year just to do these fun activities is amazing the day of the race we walked over like 55,000 steps running and hiking and the, the, the day bes days before was 30,000 and just yeah we just kept on walking and hiking and running I passed the finish line and was exhausted but at the same time I just wanted more like my body couldn't physically move more because it was completely drained um, I had to walk up several of the mountains because it was just too tough but I was laying there on the grass, hearing the speaker voice in the background, just celebrating everyone coming in and passing the finish line with me. I just wanted more. I, if my body could have run one more lap, I would have done that. The stuff that is free in life, the things that are, doesn't cost that much money. It's like, that's the best things. I never thought a race in the mountaintops would change me this much, but it really did. I feel extremely lucky and fortunate to be able to go on these adventures, but they're only possible thanks to my sponsors. So I want to give a big, big shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Audible, they offer an incredible selection of audiobooks and podcasts across every genre. If you've been watching my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of audiobooks and I do love nature and all the quietness here, but sometimes it's just nice to disappear into story and just focus on that and I got a new book recommendations from a very new and good friend of mine Cecilia Blomdahl she was on my podcast last week and she recommended this one Stoner by John Williams and no <laughs> it's not about drugs it's actually the name of the main character he's called Stoner and you get to follow his life journey um, and it's a very beautiful and tragic story story but what really caught my not eye, but ears, I guess, <laughs> is the language the author used. It's super beautiful. It's almost like reading poetry. And it was kind of perfect because my car drive here from the cabin to the mountains and then back again, it's almost eight hours. And the audiobook is around eight hours. It was kind of perfect. So time just flew by. The way Audible works is that with a membership, you get one credit each month that you can use on any title in their entire library. And you also get to keep that title forever. You can actually start listening now with the 30 days Audible trial. And with that trial, you can choose one audiobook and you get full access to their entire Plus catalog as well. To check it out, head over to audible.com slash Kalle Flodin. 
or simply text Kalle Flodin in one word to 500 500 and new members can always try Audible out for a month for free just to check it out. To start listening right now, it's super simple. You just click the link right there and that will take you to Audible. And if you want to watch more of my videos, you can click over there. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll talk very soon again. Take care, guys.